Hey guys, welcome back to Cube Break. Today marks the start of my new building series and man it's gonna be a fun one. This mock is going to be made as part of a collaboration with my friend from the channel Edge of Bricks and will be a sequel to our collab we did almost 2 years ago called The Siege of Bricks. Some of you may remember those awesome castle builds we did back then and how much fun we had so making part 2 was just a matter of time. And if you haven't seen that building series yet, you definitely have to check out those series both on my channel and on Edge of Bricks. I will leave both of our playlists linked in the description of this video so you can catch up. But this time the project will be a lot different, most importantly because we are aiming to put those builds next to each other on some convention by the end of the year. So we are both building in a way that the mocks could be either displayed separately or connected to create a big castle diorama. And the second change is that this time I will be the attacker. In the previous collab I made a part of Alliance castle that was being attacked by Edge of Bricks and his crow army and now I will be commanding the crows and we will attack his castle for a change. Edge of Bricks already did the first episode of his series which if you haven't seen yet I will link down below where he talks about his idea of the castle. And my goal is to make the road to his gate with an army charging with an attack. But you know me, I couldn't just do a simple road, so I had to come up with a fun scenery in front of the castle and I figure out I will make a part of a village through which the army will be marching towards the gate. So without any further ado, let's check out the plan I have for my part of the collab, shall we? The size I am aiming at is about 130 by 52 studs, so a pretty large build and will be even more when combined with the castle of course. As the castle will be on the right with a big gate from my side, I will make a road going all across my mock with a small bridge on the right side just outside the castle walls and a small stream below. In the village I want to make a small house on the left, probably partly destroyed by the marching army and some animal pants, because I want to finally make use of the farm animals I've gathered over the years. So there will be a sheep pen in the front and a pig pen somewhere over there, plus a couple of chickens running around the coop and probably a few crop fields depending on the space I will have after building the house. And of course since it's a siege, we can't forget about some medieval siege equipment. Last time I made a ballista for defending my castle and Edge of Bricks made a trebuchet for attacking. So this time I wanted to make some different weaponry and I will make a battering ram to destroy the castle gate. I don't have a specific plan for it yet, but having the size of the road and the gate at least I know how wide it will be. So yeah, that's the overall plan of what I will make for this collab, but there are already a couple things I did make. So first I will show you the minifigure selection and then you'll see some actual progress I've made. So the attacker's army will be like I said the crows that came in the 20th minifigure series. I got 12 of them so it's a good start. Starting with the regular soldiers that will be marching towards the castle, we have a couple of pikemen equipped with a shield and a spear. For now I have 3 of them, but I want to buy one more spear so I will have an even number in the formation. Assisting from the distance will be 2 crossbowmen equipped with a crossbow of course, in pearl dark grey, and these old school black hoods on their heads. Next in line are some regular knights with a shield and a sword. Like I said, one of them will probably be given a spear instead of a sword and join the pikemen, but we'll see how it goes. And then I had to make a couple of totally different heroes, so one is strongly inspired by dwarves from the Lord of the Rings, with a fancy helmet, a long black beard and a huge axe. The other heroes I made are two horsemen, one being the general and the other his right hand man with the bark covered helmet carrying the faction pennon. But Cube, wait, didn't you say you only have 12 figures? Well yes I did Jimmy, and here's the trick. 
These are not actually figures from the CMF, but custom ones made with combining parts in the right colors and I covered the torso with a molded armor piece. Of course, I will have to buy those in Pearl Dark Grey, but I think it's a good and most importantly a cheaper replacement as these figures now cost anywhere between 12 and 20 euros. And when sitting on a horse with a molded armor on their chest, you can barely see the difference. But the army men aren't the only ones that will be taken apart in this mock. So here are a couple of frightened peasants that will be placed somewhere around the mock, hiding from the battle around them. And of course, since it's a village, I had to show off my animal collection suitable for this scenery. Not sure yet how and which ones I will actually use for the mock, but at least I have something to pick from, right? Ok, and now that we have that out of the way, let's finally see the part I already managed to build. So we have a small river going through the mock, with a stone bridge that we will talk about in just a second, and a part of the ground and rock work on the right side. Since we want to connect both parts of the collab, I had to do the right edge corresponding to the one Edge of Bricks did, so all the ground layers from the side are a mirrored image from what he did. I only did a small portion of the ground here because I don't have much olive green parts and I had to place a few orders but at least I was able to make a draft of the ground structure and could build around it. What I was able to make complete from this side is the road going from the castle to the bridge and here I used the same technique as Edge of Bricks did in his mock using some plates, some tiles and some bricks placed sideways. Pretty easy technique that Edge of Bricks came up with, but it will look great going through both of our parts of the collab. But the thing I had the most fun with was the bridge. You know I'm a sucker for floor detailing, so I made the deck of the bridge with only 1x2 plates and because of that technique I could do a little brick bending which gave the bridge its curvature. Then I started to figure out how to use that curved character on the bridge and came up with this awesome arch on the sides. It's a pretty simple thing on its own, just some clips on both sides of a flex tube connected to some hinges on the sides, but the biggest challenge was to fill the rest of the parapet so there were no gaps. And what I came up with is just perfect here. A lot of strange connections using headlights and brackets with a flex tube in the middle, but the end effect is just great if I do say so myself. Under the bridge there is of course a small river, made with a simple and well known technique, but I think it works great here showing the different depths of the water. But here I had to stop building because I ran out of the trans clear plates, which are a crucial part of the structure. Oh, and in the middle I made a small rock just to add some variety, but I will probably change it a bit when I build the water around it. Now as for the riverside, I decided to make both of them different. So from the castle side, we will have some simple rock work, partly covered in olive green grass just like Edge is making around his castle, and on the other side, it will be covered in mud and some cane made with these olive green grass pieces and some leaves stuck between them. From here I will slowly make a transition into a much greener field using regular green color, but for that you will have to wait a bit more since these are all the things I was able to build for the first episode. Now I just have to wait for the parts from bricks and pieces to arrive and I can continue with the build. And in the meantime maybe I'll start designing the battery ram or something. A long road ahead of me with this mock but I am already enjoying this series so much. It's a much simpler build that I had with the False Emperor, because I have a lot more freedom in designing and I can build everything as I go. But what do you guys think about the progress so far and the overall idea for our collab? Be sure to let me know in the comments and if you have some ideas I could incorporate in this mock, feel free to share your thoughts. And as usual, smack that like button if you enjoy what you just saw and consider becoming a subscriber if you are new to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video and until then stay safe and keep it breaking.